Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear viewers We are here in front of you again MashaAllah with lesson number 16 And let's start from here Lesson number 16, 16 last part we remain As you uh, remember This is Ha Ha It's called like in Urdu Do Chashm Ha Do Chashm Ha Ha Same it's not like another pronunciation. Same pronunciation will be like this. Ha. Ha meem. Ba ha meem. How we will read next ha? Pa ha. Ha ha ha. Round ta. It's called round ta. Gol ta in Urdu. Ha. Ba ta. Ya ha ta ha. This is also ha. Ya ha ba. You can see the bottom two dots. It's called like ya symbol. Okay. As you see, mashallah. So ya ha ba. You can see. Let's uh, do next one. Ba ha alif. Ba ha meem. Noon ha, ta ta, ya ha, ba ha meem. Hamza. Alif Hamza. Wow Hamza. You know guys, Hamza is a really powerful letter. Whenever it comes upon another letter, it will just uh, pronounce by itself, not these letters, okay? Suppose if we have Fatha here, Fatha or Zabar, what we call, we will not read Wow Fatha Wa, we will read it Hamza Fatha A. When Hamza comes uh, on any letter or Wow ya or Ya especially, we will not read Hamza, we will not read Wow or Ya, we will read Hamza. How? We will read Hamza Fatha A, Ya Fatha, not Ya, Hamza Ya. Means if Hamza comes on the Ya, upon the Ya, we will read Hamza Fatha A. So we will not read Wa or Ya. We will read A, A, both like this. Okay. These are the group combination letters. Seen, Hamza, Lam, Meem, Noon, Alif. So these are four lines completed. Usually I started this Khayda work because of I have students from another states of USA like Atlanta, Georgia, uh, San Antonio and uh, of course Dallas and uh, many more states. So they want me to like download or upload Khayda on the YouTube so they can see it as uh, uh, how many time as they want. Okay. How many times they would, they would like to re see, they can see. That's why I just doubt on this channel. Because of I'm uploading this Khayda for that reason. My lots of students was insisting me to do this one. So I did it. So hope you guys will appreciate it. And uh, of course, uh, like this channel and share it. And press the bell notification so you're going to get any kind of uh, lesson. Any lessons from this Khayda. Whatever I'm uploading, next lesson, you're going to get automatically. And whoever you are giving this links, inshallah, thuma inshallah, they will also uh, learn lots. And whatever they will learn, you're going to get as a sadqa jariya. Right, guys? So let's start. These are the latest exercises. We're going to do this one and we will go in another lesson, of course, lesson... Vowel points. Yep. These are the vowel points. As you see, lesson number 17, vowel points. So, let's finish this page. Then we're going to go there. Uh, from here, okay? You have to repeat with me. Are you ready to repeat for me? Yep. Come on, start. Alif. Ba. Ba, ha. Ta. 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 Rain, 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 fa, fa, 
front top teeth edges should touch bottom lips wet part fa fa off when the raised back portion of the tongue touches the top of the mouth off will comes out okay please make sure your pronunciation should be better okay no matter in how age you are but it's obligatory on you to learn tajweed especially for the salah if you want to recite your uh, beautiful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quran holy quran you need re you really need to be learned tajweed no matter how old you are mashallah i have very blessing students they are older older than like 40 50 60 mashallah lots of women completed the quran with me with tajweed mashallah and they already learning with me by the zoom classes weekend program adult program so guys you can just see it i really appreciate those women who are really arrange some time to learn tajweed tajweed means allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in quran Surah Allah Al-Azim Surah number 73 and verse number 4 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying read Quran with Tajweed Tajweed means correct pronunciation so let's start we're done till of now line number 6 line number 6 if you have this qaida you can open you can open that book too and you can read with me or you don't have that book you can see in the exactly screen or phone or tab or computer whatever you have okay calf you see guys calf how it looks like calf lamb 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 front lamb front lamb in middle how lamb will join in middle of the word in quran meme Meem, ha, ha, ya. The bottom two dots, you see, two dots in bottom. These are the symbol for ya. If these dots on the top, it will ta. Okay. So, noon ha, ba ha, tha, tha. You know how tha will comes out. You know very well. Tip of the tongue. Touches the edges of the front teeth. Your tongue, little tongue, should come out. Tha. Tha. Let's start line number seven. Ya. Tha. As I told you, as I taught you, just right now, uh, above lines, two uh, dots bottom, it will ya. Two dots top, it will ta. Okay. Lam alif. Kaf lam. Meem ta, ba ha, sod ta, sod ta, arin ha, arin ha, come on, repeat with me, hamza, arin, hamza, arin, hamza, arin, ba, wain, ba, wain, ba, wain, ta, round ta, and this is Line number 7, we done, alhamdulillah. Let's go to line number 8. And this is, noon arin. Please uh, repeat with me. Noon arin, baqos, baqos. Noon jim, noon jim, noon meem. Kaf alif, kaf alif. Ta ya, ta ya, arin. Ta, fa, fa, ha, rain, rain. Line number eight done. Now let's go to line number nine. It's group letters. You know these letters are top some dots and bottom some dots. Top one dot, bottom some dots. So this will call group letters. You can analyze on it. If the top three letter, three dots above, then you can say tha. Top one letter, you can say noon. Top uh, bottom two dots, this is ya. Top two dots, this is ta. Got it? 
Now go ahead. Keep going, keep going. Ya. Sa. Ba. Noon. Sa. Ya. Hamza. Sa. Ya. Ta. Hamza. Noon. Let's go to last line for this paper. Page number 12. This Qaeda, uh, Qurani Qaeda has, mashallah, 51 pages. If you daily read at least one or two pages, only in 15, 51 days, you can finish Tajweed. And you are able to read Quran with Tajweed. Inshallah, after finishing this Qaeda, after completing this Qaeda, Inshallah, I will read for you word by word, letter by letter, words by words. Inshallah, you can get all Qurani pronunciation very well. So guys, let's go. Fa. Ba, Reen, Ta, Reen, Ta, Of, Noon. See, if one dot top, you can see, so you can say it's noon. No, it's not noon, not noon. Why? Because of this noon doesn't have the head, you see. But this Fa have the head. You see little head here? This is Fa. So, noon no, doesn't have that. Okay. So, we will read this one. Fa. Meme. Kaf. Ha. Lam. Hamza. Meme. Lam. Ha. Kaf. Seen. Sod. To. Ha. Ta. So, Alhamdulillah, we've done this page. So we are going on next page. Alhamdulillah. So what page this is? This is page number 13. And lesson number 17. These are the vowel points. Vowel points means Fatha, Zabar, Kasra, Zer, Dhamma, Pesh. Guys, in Urdu, it's called Zabar, Zer, Pesh. In Afghanistan also and in Pakistan, in Somalia. Uh, I uh, heard that in Somalia, they used to say Kisra, like this, not Kasra, Kisra. So when my younger kids was learning with me and I heard with them. And I really like, you know, like that pronunciation, Kisra. Slavavilna, sweet uh, pronunciation. So let's go. So this is, for first example is Fataha, Fataha, Zabar, Kasra, Zer. Dhamma Pesh. It's called Arab. What it call? Arab. Arab means vowels. Fatha Zabat Kasra Zer Dhamma Pesh are called Arab or Harakat. If Alif is in motion, motion means Mutaharrik. Mutaharrik. It is called Hamza. 